Never Fear Sean Gannon is here, host of our great vlog number eight. Thank you, thank you. I am so, guys, I am so glad to be to be doing these vlogs again. I mean, it's been like forever since I did my last one. <laughs> and but but the ants but there are some some spe some new announcements coming at you, so let's get started. First off to Ellie and Jared. Uh, congratulations and on again on your if I if I in case in case I haven't said this before, congratulations on your very first daughter and your fourth child in your family. And all the while, ever since and ever since I I found that oh, that you're Ellie and Ellie, ever since I found out you were pregnant for, and for the fourth for the fourth time, and I've always wondered what your what your child what your fourth child's name would be, and in fact everybody has been wondering, and I and and up to and up till now and I know she would be born on January twenty January eighteenth of this year. But now, but but now that you, but folks, she is, she and Jared have finally have now. You'll be glad to know that she and Jared have finally revealed the name, the name of her daughter, and the winning name is Jennifer June Meekum. Yeah, congratulations to you both. And now, if you'll remember, in our, in my vlog number five, I did all had all the train drawings of the of you both and all four of your kids. It's, and also for the next vlog over, I did Julia's family, the Durus, and 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 I'm so and I'm so. I'm so proud of you guys. You finally chose the perfect name for your very first daughter, Jennifer June Meekum. Congratulations to you both. Oh, and, and, and as an added bonus to your family, Ellie, I added in I added in your parents and it's to my train drawing collection, which I drew as I drew as trains. Which you're about to see right now. And you hinge. And you're about and you're about to see what they look like right now. Here's Chad Griffiths, the Duke of Griffiths. Yes. I as you can see, I I made him here's Chad Griffiths. Yes, the Duke of Griffiths. Built in 1957 for for his old Griffiths Railway. Hey, I base him off of a Gresley A1 Pacific with a Stanier tender. As you can see on the tender, I I put his last name in there, and I and I put the 1980 on the side of his cab, because 1980 was possibly when Chad and his and his wife Jennifer got married. Hey. And I paint him dark gray with, with white lining, with white lining and lettering. He's very, very wonderful engine. Engine. He makes a fine, makes a fine duke for an engine. I gotta say. And there's Jennifer Nielsen Griff and and there's Jennifer Nielsen Griffiths built in his, the Duchess of Griffiths number 1981 built in 1961 also for the old Griffiths railway Hey I painted her her her, her bright red with white lining and I I added in the Gold necklace and golden tiara. 
uh, just like the one I just like the one I did did with with Ella Louise with Ella Louise Grimwade in my second vlog on the on the grit on the on the Grimwade Railway and I and much and also like Ella Louise Grimwade I based Jennifer Nielsen on a LMS Coronation Duchess class Pacific. She look, she's a tough old girl. Oh, with a big heart of gold. She looks magnificent. Now also to the Lock Rail fan. And I noticed you you answered you answered my message. Saying that you were gonna, that you were gonna do a toy train marathon video series, is and bring the toy train marathon series back to life. It's back to life for the Isle of Toy Train series thirtieth anniversary this year, and and if with all the classical music and the footage from Isle of Toy Trains and Big Trains and Toy Trains, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, I, I know all the all your fans out all your fans out there have been wanting to see your toy train marathon series series again after all this time. I'm not sure when it got deleted. I'm not sure when those videos got deleted though. But anyway, also for for the Isle of Toy Trains 30th anniversary, I'm longing to do a a special half hour video of of the of the original I Love Toy Trains film film and I'm not sure how it's going to go but if I'm lucky I'm I'll be able to transfer my new YouTube channel here onto a computer to make this to make this video so before time ro I'm before time before 2024 starts. And you'll be glad to know uh, and but personally it it may take a lot of hard work to get the to get any video any done with all the footage and the soundtrack and sound effects it's etc. <laughs> Uh, I, I know, folks. I, I know it sounds complicated, but if you'll remember, I did my version of the Isle of Toy Trains movie of the UK. But even though it didn't work, it, go out so well, and work, it didn't go. It didn't. It, it, even though it wasn't really my best work, like I said in my last vlog. But anyway, hey. The, uh, the lock the, to the lock rail fan and thank you so much for answering my call and I'd be I'd be more than honored uh, to watch the to watch the toy train mar to watch your toy train marathon series again it's it's just an honor it it's wonderful it, I, and I'd be and I would be more than I'd be more than glad to work with you of Oh, of of remastering the I Love Toy Train series, is and expanding the running time for each show into one hour, and and also to Flying Scotsman, the world's most famous steam locomotive. Congratulations on your upcoming 100th birthday next month. Let's give Flying Scotsman a hand. Woohoo! Impressive. Now, Scott, I I know you've come a long way of fame since since you were built it since your Empire exhibition at Wembley in 1924, including your hundred mile per hour run ten years later on November 30th, and your and your visits to America and Australia. And even as a even as a Thomas the Tank Engine character, 
and I've seen you, and I've se- and I have your and I have your your flight of your Australian video during your during your visit to Australia at the bicentennial of the bicentennial year 1988, and and I also. And quite often, I I also see you, I also watch you, on on YouTube during the British Railway stories. It's by Simon A. C. Martin. I even I even have some have a few books about you. And and you know, and all. And I'm I'm just so proud that you that you'll be celebrating owing your centenary, Scott. And and surely and hopefully you'll be you'll truly come back into steam for it. But congratulate but anyway, congratulations and it's on your one hundred one hundredth birthday, Flying Scotsman. And I'll see you next month. And also to NWR 1991. Hun, very fantastic job on your on your complete Thomas and Friends timeline. Timeline all through last year. Let's give let's give NWR 1991 on a on a on a round of applause. <laughs> Woo! Well done, my friend. Well done. <laughs> Although there are few, there are, there are very few. I, I'm glad you added in some of the events of the television series into your timeline, though. It, I am, I am a little concerned how you, how you got a few of them mixed up with the, up with, mixed up with the years, and I, I've been studying the timeline, and Random Man's version of, excuse me. Playing Random Man's version of the timeline, and and to be honest, I'm sure they, or they would have, would have happened much closer to the to the timeline. But I'm working, I'm, I'm working on my version of the timeline, and but but not to worry. But personally, I'll be, I'm, I'm combining your version with Random Man's version. Of the complete Thomas and Friends timeline, and I'm and I'm also and I'll also be adding in, in some events from Tugs, Theodore Tugboat, Bob the Builder, or Jimmy the Genty, British Railway stories, the locomotives of British Railways, and some of the and Thomas YouTube channels, etc., etc., etc. And but on the whole, your timeline was fantastic. Well done, magnificent. You did, you did outstanding, and I'm and, and yes, I'm looking forward. I'll be looking forward to watching your watching your season twelve of of your show and Northwestern Railway Tales. And to Victor Tanzig. Hey. Very fine work on your SCPs of Sodor miniseries, and and I hope you're looking forward to making a fifth season of your main Stories of Sodor series. Stories of series, is well, and you cover is as you cover the rest of the events from. And it's from the rest of the 1960s since 1964, and then continue on, and then continue on through the 1970s in the future. So, I know you've come a long way since your since your very first Stories of Sodor video, Percy, and and I and you're doing great, Vic, doing great, Victor Tanzig. Keep it up. You're your your series is w- just wonderful. I love to watch your watch your first episode of your season five. And anyway, folks, that that's pretty much it. 
Right, right, that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure you who like and subscribe. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And channel. Oh, and smash that subscribe button if you hadn't subscribed yet. And and I'll and I'll see you next and I'll see you in my next and I'll see you in my next vlog number nine if I have the and if I I mean, hopefully. But until next time, full steam ahead and keep smiling. And remember, stay cool, guys. So long, folks.